Hey guys, it's Josh from uh, Blackwater Fine Woodworking. Today we are going to look at how I did my organizational trays for my CNC bits and tools and then just uh, miscellaneous stuff in this second tray. So how I got to this, uh, we'll just kind of start over here. We'll go new. Uh, yes. Okay, set your, this is in Vectric VCarve Pro. I'm um, just doing a single-sided project. However big your <clears throat> material is, uh, for this, I believe I used a 24 by 16 uh, project panel. We'll zero off the material surface, X, Y datum down here. Uh, I always rock the very high modeling. And I'm just using pine here, so that's good. And so what I'm going to do is import a bitmap. So all I did was took uh, my tools that I wanted to uh, have spots for, and I traced them on a piece of paper. Uh, just happen to be graph graph paper. Okay. Um, with this, I will uh, rotate this so that I can see it a little easier. And all you're going to do then is trace your bitmap. This will be right here, this button. Uh, you'll trace that. And this brings up your tracing menu so i'm just going to go black and white uh, we can mess around with these sliders until we get what we need and that looks pretty good there typically use a tight corner fit And we can preview that, and that's that's going to do what I need it to do. And I'll click Apply. Okay. Uh, then up here, I just uh, hide my bitmap layer. So the photo's gone now, and I have layer one. So you see I got a bunch of artifact here, and I actually have, I mean, it traced both sides of my pen mark. Um, so what I typically do, we'll just start with this little wrench. Here, I would click the inner. Uh, oh, we'll close this. I need to ungroup. So you can do, uh, you can click those and uh, type U on your keyboard. That'll ungroup them. Um, and then I would click my inner here and just delete that. Okay, you can see this is all jagged. Uh, I don't want this. So what you're going to end up having to do is click on that and go into node editing mode. And you're going to want to clean all this up. Okay, th this has got to be cleaned up. So you can go, you can hover over. Uh, and I typically delete a ton of them. So I'll just click D on the uh, keyboard. And I'm erasing nodes. So if I want to get a really good straight line here, I just leave this last one and I start erasing all of these. And you can see this straightens up my line. There's no, you don't need all of those nodes. There might be a quicker way to do this. I'm not sure. Okay.
So now we get to here. I am not going to leave this uh, section here. So I can simply come over here and we'll do an arc instead. And I'm going to bring that. And then you can trim like so. When you come back gateway, there's gonna be the second round house. Just follow the road back and we'll run into this. And you'll wanna do that with all the tools that you decide you wanna put in there, okay? This this is rough. I, I on my final I clean this up. Uh, quite a bit better so that and that takes a little time but you guys get the idea of what i'm doing here so what we'll do is open back up the uh organizer not gonna save that so you end up with this okay and you can see i clean these up real nice uh and then i verify my measurements and you have uh, measuring tools in here you can measure with this uh, from here to here and you can see all your distances and things like that so you can verify uh, once you've got your basic outline vectors situated um, you can verify all these measurements and make sure that your tool is going to fit I did uh, very very close for my original outline and then i did an offset so i could click you know any of these and come down here and do an offset outwards and just do like a a sixteenth of an inch so you could do outwards point zero six two five is going to get you a sixteenth of an inch okay no i'm not going to do that but uh and that's what you get. So here, I all my bits came in little plastic uh, bit boxes, I guess you could call them. Um, so I just took measurements on those and drew rectangles and uh, situated them so that it was nice and neat and for most efficiency. And then I decided what I wanted to do, these, uh, these long ovals. Um, again, you're just creating ellipses or even circles. Uh, and rectangles very simple this will be a uh, cut with a three-quarter inch core box bit and uh, that'll make little finger finger holds for uh, all these tools and then these circles here um, the outer circle is not a cut that is the diameter of my bit and so and then these are uh, collet adapters for my 16th inch shanks or i'm um, excuse me eighth inch shanks uh most everything i have is a quarter inch shank though my collet is a quarter inch so if i have a bit that is an eighth inch shank i need this little adapter and i have two of those so they're going to sit here uh, this is for a uh, half inch core box this is for my three quarter inch core box and then the, this is my one inch uh, flattening white side bit three flute okay uh, this would be your outer profile this will get cut out and I added tabs to that uh, and then this tray uh, I just thought well I could dump a handful of screws here uh, maybe some drill bits that I use the most um, pens and pencils here a tape measure here and then I have a I have a wooden box that houses my exacto knife kit and so that'll fit in here. Now these I wanted rounded uh, edges and a rounded uh, bottom. So I did a profile pass with that three quarter inch core box bit to make these round. This one I left square because it's an actual wooden box that's going to sit in that spot. But the rest of these all had rounded edges and bottoms. Okay. And so we can go back to the 3D. If you click over here, uh, you can see I do have a bunch of tool paths. But uh, so for my uh, 
things here, I wanted sharp corners on the squares and rectangles. And so I used a V-carve, uh, and we can look at that real quick. I just did a quarter inch flat depth and a 30 degree bit so that the walls of the pocket uh, would be as straight up as I could. And then I used some clearance tools, uh, the quarter inch end mill to do the, the most of it, the 16th inch end mill uh, to just catch what the quarter inch couldn't do. And then lastly, my 30 degree V bit comes in and makes these corners nice and sharp. I did the same thing for all of these just to just to make it easy. Uh, climb cuts, and you can see if we preview those. There we go. So if we zoom in on the preview, you can see I've got there's a slight bevel there, obviously 30 degrees because I finished it, but the bottom the smallest area of this rectangle will be fits my uh, little bit cases perfectly. And these, I didn't mind having a 30 degree bevel on the, on the wall, but you can see once I verified my measurements, um, these tools fit in there really nice. Okay. So adding the, uh, the holes is simple. Uh, that's all they are quarter inch holes okay i used uh my uh outer circles on that 2d view um just to, to space them out because that outer circle was the diameter of the actual cutting portion of the bit these all have quarter inch shanks so these are half inch deep quarter inch holes simple and then like I said I wanted to do those uh, pockets with the three-quarter inch core box bit and this gives me a little place to stick my fingers um, when I am grabbing for a tool okay and this turned out nice on the final I think I did those at 0.3, 0 0.3 inches deep pockets with my quarter inch end mill at a half inch deep and uh, preview that. That cut the basic shapes out. Okay. half inch deep. Then we take the profile with the three quarter inch core box and we'll preview that. And you can see how that gives a nice dished uh, edge. To the trays. To each individual tray. Uh, your profiles around the things. Uh, I added tabs because I just ran screws into the corners of this project panel into my spoil board. I didn't want to use double sided tape and all that nonsense, so I just added tabs, thin tabs. Uh, we can look at that uh, half inch length, eighth inch thick uh, tabs. And I always run a spiral uh, ramp on my profile, my, my last cuts, because it's going through all that, and that's a nice uh, slow um, plunge, basically. It uses the entire circumference of the cut to plunge. Um, so we'll close that and preview, cutting that out. Which one was it? preview visible <clears throat> and I just put a tab on each side that was plenty to hold it in place uh, 
these little tabs there and uh, turned out perfect. So here they are uh, finished.